first Brazilian speaker in the history of inside e-commerce and promise to improve our Portuguese until the FIFA World Cup next year. Nesse sentido, bem-vindo a Leipzig, Mauricio Salvador, presidente da Associação Brasileira de Comércio Eletrônico em São Paulo. Thank you, thank you. I got the last, the last part. I could understand, my Mauricio Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation to be here and talking about the Brazilian e-commerce, talking about some opportunities and some challenges in the Brazilian e-commerce market. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I'm going to talk about the Brazilian e-commerce and uh, a kind of roadmap to understand better the, uh, our market there. So first of all, welcome to Brazil. We are a, a warm country. Uh, we have funny people there. We love to party. Uh, you, have been, uh, you heard about carnival in Brazil. It's very, very uh, cool. So last year I spent uh, some time in Germany and I went to the Cologne Carnival. So forget about it. Try Brazil next year. <laughs> and this, this is a guy playing capoeira at the sunset in Copacabana. It's a, a, a nice place to be at. And Rio de Janeiro, uh, the sightseeing, it, it's very, very beautiful. Okay. So some numbers to understand better the, the, the Brazilian economy. We are a federal republic, we have a population of 201 million Brazilians, uh, we are the fifth place in number of uh, population in the world. Uh, and uh, interesting thing is that we have more than one mobile cell phone per, uh, uh, per, per uh, people, so we have 245 million cell phones that makes crazy because some some people they they have like two or three uh, mobile cell phones it's, it's very crazy and we 73.6 uh, percent are Roman Catholic I, I don't know why I put this information here but anyway. <laughs> uh, our GDP is 2.3 uh, trillion last year uh, that makes us the eighth economy in the world and we have five major cities in Brazil. Sao Paulo, just to have an idea, has almost 20 million uh, people living in, in, the, in the city. Rio de Janeiro with almost 12 million. Belo Horizonte with 5.7 million. Uh, Porto Alegre with 4 million uh, people. And Brasilia, that is the capital city of Brazil, with 3.8 million people living there. One in interesting thing is, is that 22% of the whole population of Brazil is concentrated in five cities. Although we have almost uh, 4,000 cities in Brazil, 20% of the population uh, are concentrated there. And of course, I, I, well, I, I couldn't forget to say that we are crazy about soccer and five times world champions. And I, ho I, I hope German next, next year will, will uh, play well in, in, in Brazilian so uh, something about uh, the economy to understand better how the, the e-commerce is going on. Uh, our GDP for the past decade uh, grew in average 3.5% uh, and uh, they expect, we expect to, to grow of, uh, around 3.4% uh, until 2015. Uh, if we compare this uh, growth with the BRICS, the Brazil, Russia, India, and China, we are not doing well. So China, Russia, and, and, and India, they, they are growing very uh, fast uh, compared to Brazil. But on the other hand, uh, compared with other countries and developed countries, we are uh, doing our work. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> more numbers to understand the, uh, the, the present scenario of the, the economy. 
so the credit for families are growing, so people are borrowing money with more uh, easily. In, in the banks are offering money to, to, to families in Brazil, so that makes more money circulating in the economy. Uh, total payroll also uh, is growing uh, year uh, by year, so these also make more money, uh, pe uh, families with more money in, in their pocket so they can buy more. Uh, the consumer's confidence also uh, is growing, so uh, people are more confident, they, 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 they believe that they won't get fired, so they believe that at the end of the month they, uh, they will save money to, to, to buy goods, so this helps the, the economy. And uh, the unemployment tech, uh, rates are, uh, has never been so low as uh, nowadays. Also, another uh, information is that the population pattern in Brazil. We are a, a young population. The average age in Brazil is 26 year old. So, uh, the, the young people are, <coughs> we know uh, are more connected. They 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 play more on on internet. They have they they access more easily all the new uh, technologies. So that makes uh, the e-commerce uh, more interesting. And one uh, magic word to define the moment in Brazil is the new middle class. So, from uh, 2003 to 2012, uh, almost 20% of the Brazilian population uh, went to the new middle class. That made, uh, the, the new middle class is people earning with earnings around $1,500 uh, per month. So. Uh, those, those people are buying more, they are accessing uh, uh, the, the, the economy, so now they have money uh, uh, at, the, at the end of the month to, to, to buy more things. And this is, uh, this is a very special moment, because it's people that they want to, uh, to consume more, and they want to, to, to buy things like brands and travel, so this makes the, the, the economy more interesting. So what about e-commerce? How, how uh, is e-commerce going on in Brazil now? So as I said, our population is 201 million uh, Brazilians, but the internet users are 93 million uh, Brazilians. That represents 46% of the population. So uh, considering the people who buy online, so uh, 21% of the population, of the Brazilian population, uh, buy online. So one in each five Brazilians, they uh, shop online. That means there is a huge opportunity here that people that are already connected, uh, accessing internet, but uh, doesn't buy yet. So we, we, we have uh, our work to bring these people to, uh, to shop for the first time. Uh, Brazil is ranked in fifth place uh, in number of, uh, of internet users. We have a penetration of internet of 46 percent. So we, we expect to to increase this number for the next years. So there's a lot of opportunity here also because there's a lot of Brazilians that never have been connected on internet. They just don't know uh, how internet works. So. Uh, when those people connect for the, for the first time, of course, they, they will have the chance to buy online for the first time, and probably if they like, if everything goes uh, uh, all right, they will buy again. Uh, more numbers about shopping online in Brazil, so the, the perspective to, to grow in number of internet users for the, the next two years, we expect to reach uh, uh, 110 million uh, internet users in Brazil. That makes more than 52% of the uh, of penetration of internet. Broadband users, uh, 23 million of Brazilians will have broadband access in, in the next two years. Uh, broadband is directly related with buying online because if you have a good experience, if you have a, a good uh, broadband connection, you can check uh, photos with high quality, you can check videos, uh, so people that have more uh, connection quality, they buy more.
And of course, the number of online shoppers will grow. Uh, we expect to reach almost 70 million Brazilians by online in the next two years. And the cell phone number will also increase. So someone in Brazil will have three cell phones uh, very soon. Comparing the online uh, sales with the offline sales, uh, the online sales is growing like 30% per year in Brazil. Uh, and the offline sales is growing 6, 6.5% like, uh, 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 last year. So uh, the, the participation of uh, online uh, of e-commerce in the total sales in Brazil is, is uh, increasing. Some numbers about uh, e-commerce sales. Uh, last year we had uh, total revenues in e-commerce of 12 uh, billion dollars. Ex and not includes here travel, uh, auto automobiles, and auctions like eBay, this kind of sales, big uh, consumer to consumer sales. Uh, and for this year, 2013, the expectation is to reach uh, 15, million, uh, 15 billion dollars, and in two years, uh, it will almost double. Uh, the internet participation over total retail that uh, last year represented 3.1 percent will remain increasing. So, if we consider act uh, some actions like uh, cross-channel strategies and omni-channel, omni-channel uh, that mean people who uh, research internet and then buy offline, this uh, participation will be uh, bigger. One thing, as I said, the uh, the population is concentrated in five cities uh, in, in Brazil and we have different countries in the same country. We have different regions in Brazil like North and Northeast are the poorest regions in, in the country and Southeast and South are the richest. So these, these numbers, uh, it's, it's just to have an idea, in Brazil, the Southeast region in Brazil two years ago had 70% of the e-commerce sales it represented. And so it, it, it uh, fell down to 60% because North and Northeast are growing faster. So uh, the, the participation of people from North and Northeast are, are increasing because uh, there are some uh, government programs that are uh, uh, bringing internet connection to, to uh, those regions. And there's also a high competition in a uh, number of online stores in Brazil. We expect to have next year 45,000 uh, online stores, but 70% uh, uh, of those online stores will close at the end of the second year. There's a huge problem ab about education there in Brazil. We are working on that with uh, ABCOM to bring information and to, to uh, teach those uh, companies how to, to stay alive, how to stay selling, how to use, uh, how, how to make a business plan, for example. The Brazilians, uh, they, they don't like to make business plan, they, they just <laughs> go, you know? And this is a, a big problem because there's no uh, strategy behind it. About the top Brazilian e-commerce players, we have uh, two two major companies running uh, e-commerce operations there. One is Nova.com that uh, is responsible for brands like Pão de Açúcar, and Extra, and Casas Bahia. B2W is uh, another huge uh, group there. Mercado Livre, Walmart, Compra Fácil, Buscapé, Netshoes. Uh, Buscapé is a comparison shopping there. Netshoes, uh, Magazine Luiza, Saraiva, Onofre, Dafiri, Saks, Rakuten, and Amazon. And uh, if we analyze those 14 top players, only four of them doesn't have uh, don't have uh, uh, foreign uh, money. So Nova.com, for instance, uh, is uh, controlled by the French group named Casino. The Mercado Livre is controlled by a, a group from Argentina, Walmart from US, Buscapé is controlled by a group named Naspers from South Africa, Netshoes is controlled by a group named uh, uh, Tiger from US, Onofre was acquired last year for the CVS group, 
in, in, US, in United States. The city is controlled by a group named Rocket Internet from Germany. Uh, Sax is controlled by a group named uh, Sephora from France. Rakuten from Japan and Amazon from US. And also there's uh, important uh, e-commerce groups in Brazil that uh, one of them is Alibaba from China, Groupon from US, Post House uh, from, uh, it's, it's acquired, was acquired from Otto, Otto, Otto Group from uh, German and Apple Store is going very fast in, in Brazil also. Uh, another interesting thing about e-commerce uh, in Brazil is the decentralization. So, uh, four years ago, the top one, the, the number one e-commerce players had 41% of the market. Uh, last year, that uh, fell down to 21.3%. And uh, if we put together the top uh, 50 uh, uh, e-commerce players in Brazil, that represented uh, 91 uh, percent of the market in 2008. Uh, last year they, they fell to 80 percent. That means that specialized, specialized companies like uh, uh, handcraft uh, online stores or uh, sporting goods or perfumes, this kind of specialized online stores are growing uh, faster. They doubled the size uh, they doubled the market share in four years. They went from 8% to 16%. Uh, more numbers about e-commerce in Brazil. The revenue last year, $12 billion. Uh, that was an increase of 29% compared to 2011. The average spend was $171 uh, US dollars number of new e-shoppers, that means people who bought online for the first time last year, 10 million Brazilians, and the number of purchases, 66.7 million purchase, online purchases. Again, that excludes uh, travel and auction and vehicles. And the best seller categories in Brazil, appliance in the first with 12%, apparel and accessories with 12.2%, Health and personal care with 12%, computers with 9.1% of participation, furniture and home furnishing with 7.9%. One interesting thing, uh, thing here is that those two categories here, uh, apparel and health and personal care, three years ago uh, they were in 16th and 15th place. So they, they uh, jumped to second and third in only three years. That means that uh, uh, there's, there's more uh, Brazilian women buying online because those categories uh, are more uh, consumed by women. So uh, if, if you have some, uh, something to sell to women or know someone that has something to know <coughs> women, so Brazil is a, is a good place. The e-commerce in Brazil is a good place. <laughs> uh, Regarding uh, payment methods, so 73% of the uh, payments in Brazil are made by credit card. There's a, a payment method in Brazil named Boleto. Boleto is a barcoded voucher that the, the customer printed and can buy and, and can pay it in many different ways, uh, or bank, internet banking, post office, or ATM machine. Uh, so it represents 18% of the payments in Brazil. And another interesting thing is uh, Brazilian online, uh, they, they like to buy in installments. That means they don't pay uh, in, uh, once. They, they like to pay in twice to three installments. So that means that the retailers in Brazil almost play as banks. So they have to offer credit to, to the buyer. And so they borrow money to, to, to sell something to, to the to the uh, shoppers. And as you see, only 19% uh, of the uh, online purchase are bought by uh, one payment only. And there's also recent fails in Brazil. The group Carrefour from French, they uh, closed the online operation last year. Uh, the, the operation didn't go well. Uh, Pernambucanas, it's a huge uh, retail group in Brazil. They also uh, stopped selling online. And two weeks ago, uh, another uh, big company named Shoes for You, 
that had uh, American uh, investors also uh, closed their online operation. Uh, some, some information to understand or misunderstand uh, the Brazilian taxes that are, are very, uh, very confusing. We have many different kind of taxes. We have uh, city taxes, we have state taxes and federal taxes and different uh, 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 percentages and different uh, ways. So in, in the city we have IP, IPTU, ISS, IPCMD, in the states you have uh, ICMS, ITBI, IPVA, uh, Federal, IRPJ, CSLL, PIS, uh, IPI, II, IE, CID. So there's a lot of confusion uh, regarding uh, uh, taxes in Brazil. And there's three to ten different strategies to pay taxes in Brazil. So if a company starts uh, uh, selling something or, or uh, in, in Brazil, you have to choose between ten, three to ten different uh, strategies which you go and which one you will save or not save uh, money but each one has its own risk so there, there is no way to sell or to operate in Brazil with no, with completely uh, uh, free risk you know? but there's also opportunities and challenges um, uh, first of all the internaliz internalization uh, there's some brands that uh, started selling online in Brazil uh, and shipping from US, for example, like Gap, Macy's, Benefit Cosmetics, uh, Victoria's, Victoria's Secrets, that they had their website in Portuguese and they accept uh, Brazilian credit cards and they ship from US. So uh, Gap and Benefit, they uh, they were so successful selling online in Brazil that now, for this year, they will start operating uh, brick and mortar uh, stores there. And uh, so this, this is a good way to, 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 to go uh, overseas uh, by e-commerce. Some more opportunities, the consistent economic increase and higher families consumption ahead. Uh, young and open mind market valuing global recognized brands, so Brazilian love brands, uh, an increasing mature market, low consolidation in several segments, so that there's many opportunities there, and high international presence. And of course, the, the uh, World Cup and the uh, Olympic Games uh, has global events, uh, will be an additional booster. But also there are some challenges Taxes, taxes, and taxes. So, uh, as I said, there's many different strategies to, to, to pay taxes there. Uh, there's a lot of bureaucracy in Brazil. So, uh, many uh, international companies, they prefer to acquire a, a small company in Brazil. It's easier to, to go there, uh, uh, to start selling there, uh, acquiring someone, than opening your own operation. Increasing competition and dynamic local players, so there, there's a lot of uh, foreign investors there, so there's a, 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 a international competition also. And credit uh, management to attend the emergent consumer. As I said, the Brazilians they online, they like to pay installments, so we have to offer credit for them. And there's different Brazils, uh, there's different regions with each uh, culture, with uh, different uh, revenues, must understand that. And of course some infrastructure problems uh, uh, regarding logistics and uh, uh, transportation. So this, 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 is a, a, this has uh, have been a problem in, in foreign commerce in Brazil, but the government are working uh, to, to solve those. And uh, finally uh, I'd like to show uh, uh, a short movie uh, that was a, a movie from uh, Johnny Walker and label that it was released uh, last year uh, about uh, the, the Brazil has a, a waking economy.
so? Stop on your milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Questions?